working on the way in that sort of young people. So much energy here, I think that's what is needed for this work. It's a lot of work to be done. The place, Archbishop Ruben Go, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends, partners, supporters of all our programs, most welcome and good morning. On behalf of my fellow board members and the staff of Mental uh, Care, thank you for attending our launch. This is the official launch of Mental Care and the blessing ceremony of our newest centre, Big Love. We're honoured present, we honored by the presence of His Grace, Archbishop Nguyen Go. We also thank all our partners who are here with us today. Today marks an important milestone for all of us to come together to introduce ourselves as Month of Care. Allow me to take a YouTube journey in the past decade. Our first center, Marine Parade Family Service Center, started as a community project by the Brothers of St. Diego and Catholic Welfare in 2000. Brother Eve will see with us today, is very instrumental in the introduction of this service. Our humble aim then was to help the poor and the needy community amidst the changing economic and social landscape. Our presence in the community grew very quickly and we began to pilot new initiatives with our community partners to serve different segments of the community. As Brother Yoko said earlier, we catered to those from cradle to grave except that we don't, we don't provide coffee services. <laughs> so for example, we saw the need to introduce community outreach programs to engage seniors and to promote positive aging as our population ages. In 2002, we introduced Good Life, a community-based wellness program to cater to the growing needs of the needy. And then to drive the society to adopt a renewed and positive understanding of aging in the community, YA, which is Young at Heart. The community college of YA was established in 2005. The Outreach Center for Seniors aims to change society's perception of aging by providing learning and social engagement opportunities for the elderly community. In 2011, this new family service center, which we're all here today, we call it F27 FSC, was launched. This caters to the residents, especially in Little Blangam. In 2013, Big Love, which is a child protection specialist center, was introduced to handle and manage child abuse related cases. I was told that since the launch in mid-2013 to now, we have handled about 100 cases in this short period of just about six, seven months. So from eight staff in 2000, we are now today 70 staff, including 50 social workers and counselors. These two FSCs, one in Marine Parade and this one here, <coughs> handle an average of 700 cases every month. So indeed, uh, Grace, we need very energy, energetic people. Yeah. This is a lot of work to be done. Uh, just now we also visited Me To You, and then I said that it was Me To You. It's cyber counseling for the youth, and it is more national rather than locality-based, where youth today prefer to be counseled through online chatting. They avoid facing uh, counselors and they avoid calling in their mode for communication is online chatting and so we cater to that as well. So we have many different programs and therefore as our organization grows from strength to strength we have to reaffirm our mission and align the values that drive these programs and services. We needed to reorganize ourselves so that this organization can grow stronger expand our services to help more of those who need us. We were inspired by the story of St. Louis Mary de Montfort. He was a priest who was known for his willingness to walk the unfamiliar path and took risks 
in order to help those in need. So we renamed ourselves as Monthly Care in October 2013 to reflect the broader network of initiatives and programs committed to improving the lives of individuals, families, and the community facing transitional challenges. We adopted Monfort's name because we believe that we work not only to help people to solve their problems, but rather to help them to gain support and resilience so that they could overcome the obstacles that they face. We're convinced that in order to help, we must empathize with the people we serve. Because as St. Monfort said, those whom the world rejects must move you the most. So together we believe that Monfort Care can create a difference in Singapore's social service sector in the years to come. Aligning our centres will allow us to strengthen our resources and impact more lives. At the same time, we are glad that we have also taken this opportunity to define and to reaffirm our commitment and responsibilities as social work professionals. We've got much support from our partners and we're committed to make sure that that support does not go to waste. Before I end, I would like to give my appreciation to the board, the management team led by Sam and Yai, solid people who have been very committed to this mission, and the staff for all their combined efforts in building Monter Care and for planning today's event. Thank you once again, and I hope you enjoy the program that we presented to you this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for giving us through the brief history of Monfort Care. Today, it is